Okay, today we're going to make something using um, chopped ham. It's not cooked ham, but chopped ham. It's the kind that's got a lot of fat to it. So, there's a reason we're using that too. But now, what I like to do is take a couple pounds, this is a pound I think, and um, just chop it up more than what it actually is. I get it shaved, or what they consider shaved at the deli, and then I like to just chop it up. And I'll do this with both pounds that I have here right now. And I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not. And then what we'll do from there is just, we'll throw that in one of these pans to put on the stove. All right, and then we'll do the second one here real quick. Okay, now this one wasn't a whole pound, I guess. It doesn't look as big. But I remember as a kid, my mom always made this, and um, I always liked it. Okay, now that we got that going, in the pan there, we'll turn the fire on. Now I usually start with medium, something like that. You don't want to burn the meat. Now you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want to put in here. I just happen to have some of this. A lot of times I use Hunt's because Hunt's really works good for this. But that's basically all up to your preference of what you like in a barbecue sauce. So we'll start with about a half a jug there. Depends on how much sauce you want on it in the end. And um, how saucy you like it, I guess, really depends on how much you put in. And we'll just stir it around so we can get it all coated. Get this thing up to temperature. And then um, we'll turn the fire down let it simmer. Now, if you have a lid, you can put a lid on here. Okay, now, after letting this heat up for just a few minutes, I think I would like a little more um, barbecue sauce in there. So I found some different, some craft. We'll put a little bit of that in there. Like I say, you can put any kind of barbecue sauce you want. All well, depends on your taste. Now I've tried this using things like um, Virginia ham, lunch meat, and just regular cooked ham and different things like that. But something about the fat content, I guess, that's in this chopped ham makes it just taste so much different. And it will shrink a lot, so it looks like a lot now. Now you're gonna wanna check it very often and stir it because you don't want it to burn or singe to the bottom. Now I'll let this set on here and simmer for, oh, I'll probably let this cook for 20 minutes. You could just heat it up and eat it that way, it's good, but like I say, it's something like Sloppy Joe's, if you let it cook for a good little while and simmer, it just tastes so much better. Okay, another thing you want to keep stirring Okay, now you want to keep an eye on your temperature too, because you don't want this to boil, you just want it to simmer. And if you do get to where it's drying out a little bit, you can add barbecue sauce or you can just add a little bit of water if you want to. And that'll cook pretty much right back out of it. So I stirred this and we'll let her simmer for a little longer. Hey, did I mention to um, keep stirring it as it cooks so it doesn't stick and burn and scorch and make it nasty and awful? Okay, now we kept adding liquid. And if it gets to a point you think you got too much liquid in there, you can just take the lid off and let it cook for a little bit and it'll cook some of that liquid away. But keep in mind, it will dry up a little bit once it cools off. It like absorbs it or I don't know where it goes. It just 
Okay, now I've been cooking this for about 20 minutes or so and simmering it. And it's starting to get a little darker looking. The lunch beating on, that's what I want because I know it's starting to absorb the um, barbecue sauce. Okay, what I like to do is just take some of it now and put it on bread. Make a mess while you're doing it. Okay, the other thing I like to do is put a little bit of coleslaw on top. So, you just take a little dab of coleslaw and put it on there. Maybe a pickle. Got the bun upside down, but there we can fix it. Right there you go. My lunch. Barbecued chopped ham, potato chips, and pickle. What could get any better than that? And a little pop. The rest of this I can just put in a container and put in the refrigerator and use it as I want to. You could freeze it, whatever you want to do. Um, it's just good stuff. Thanks for watching.